I do believe that there are affinities between Christians and Jews and Muslims that are very, very deep. And they're ex particularly important right now because Muslims, Jews, and Christians have more in common than any of the members of those three groups have in common with this woke ideology that's pervasively sweeping the planet, that poses an equal threat to all three of those groups and whatever civilization might be founded on their joint and separate contributions. And the fact that Muslims, Jews, and Christians are squabbling amongst themselves in the rubble while the idiot woke ideology rages madly out of control is, is, is uh, counterproductive to say the least. And so, you know, on the religious front, the Abrahamic religions share the belief in the centrality of the book. They share a fundamental monotheism. Um, and, then, and then after that, well, then differences that are difficult to reconcile start to emerge and no one really knows how to deal with them. So, I mean, obviously one of the problems on the religious front with regards to Jews, Christians, and Muslims is conceptualization of the figure of Christ and also of the figure of Muhammad, and no one knows how to sort that mess out. And what you get are dogmatic insistences on both sides, um, with the Jews taking a completely different perspective. And, you know, wars have been fought for hundreds of years or even thousands over exactly those issues. So I do believe there are important uh, historical, what would you say, there's there's an important history that unites us and there's an important body of conceptions that unites us on the religious side on the, on, in the broad West, but we're still in the early stages of the kind of conversation that would allow those remaining points of contention, which are very severe, to be ironed out.